I'm actually really surprised that people say so and so. People don't say it. Indeed, India is a democracy. broader issues on, of human rights and democracy, what is your message to those, including some members of your own party, who believe that your administration is overlooking the targeting of religious minorities and a crackdown on dissent in India? Well, look, uh, the Prime Minister and I had a good discussion about democratic values. And, uh, and there is a, there is the, uh, that's the nature of our relationship. We're straightforward with each other and, uh, and we respect each other. One of the fundamental reasons that I believe the U.S.-China uh, relationship is not in the space it is in the U.S.-Indian relationship is that uh, there is an overwhelming respect for each other because we're both democracies. And uh, it's a common democratic candidate, uh, uh, character of both our countries that and our people, our diversity, our culture, our open, tolerant, robust debate, and I believe uh, that we believe in the dignity of every citizen. And it is in America's DNA, and I believe in India's DNA, uh, that um, the whole world, uh, the whole world has a stake in our success, both of us, in maintaining our democracies, makes us appealing partners, and enables us to uh, expand democratic institutions across, around the world. And uh, I uh, believe this, and I still believe this. Mr. Prime Minister, India has long prided itself as the world's largest democracy, but there are many human rights groups who say that your government has discriminated against religious minorities and sought to silence its critics. Um, as you stand here in the East Room of the White House, where so many world leaders have made commitments to protecting democracy, what steps are you and your government willing to take to improve the rights of Muslims and other minorities in your country and to uphold free speech? I'm actually really surprised that people say so and so. People don't say it. Indeed, India is a democracy. And as uh, President Biden also mentioned, India and America, both countries, democracy is in our DNA. Democracy is our spirit. Democracy runs in our veins. We live democracy, and our ancestors have actually put words to this concept, and that is in the form of our constitution. Our government has taken the basic principles of democracy, and on that basis, our constitution is made, and the entire country runs on that, our constitution and our government. We have always proved that democracy can deliver. And when I say deliver, this is regardless of caste, creed, religion, gender. There's absolutely no space for discrimination. And when you talk of democracy, if there are no human values and there is no humanity, there are no human rights, then it's not a democracy. And that is why when you say democracy and you accept democracy and when we live democracy, then 
there is absolutely no space for discrimination and that is why india believes in moving ahead with everybody we trust and with everybody's efforts these are our foundation principles which are the basis of how we operate how we live our lives in in india the benefits that are provided by the government is accessible to all. Whoever deserves those benefits is available to everybody. And that is why in India's democratic values, there is absolutely no discrimination, neither on basis of caste, creed, or age, or any kind of geographic location.